So, hello everyone, you got a, another view in the, uh, we call this the computer room. Um, but this is where my grandfather's computer is. And the purpose of this video is going to be to explain how to fix a broken brother driver. Now the exact model number is in the title and the description, as well as the link to purchase the printer because honestly it's one of the best multi-purpose printers that I can find on the market um sub I think like a hundred dollars and it's always sub a hundred dollars usually sometimes even sub seventy dollars um so definitely check the link down in the description to learn more about this printer and maybe even to buy one so um let's go ahead and get into the screenshotting video and yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to this Wolfboy video. As you've seen from the intro, my grandfather cannot print. And that's obviously a problem. So, what I'm going to be doing is repairing the printer driver. And since I'm a tech YouTube channel now, this kind of fits on this channel. So, we are going to go ahead and launch Edge. Because Edge is faster than everything else. So, let's go ahead and type in uh, support.brother.com and we'll go to the brother support uh, page and obviously it selects uh, US English for where I am and this is the uh, 4700 inkjet, inkjet um, I believe. Uh, no. So it's the 7, maybe? No. Oh, that's right, it's the J4. Yup. Uh, but up, up, uh, dub 75DW or 70DW. I think it's the 70D, yeah, the 70DW. And it's going to be Windows. Windows 8.164-bit. And search. And we'll go ahead and download the full driver and software package. And, of course, we agree to the brother end user license agreement. Woo! Brother! Awesome. Okay, um, so it's going to download... And I'm going to cut the video here for a second so that we can not watch this crap. So, be right back. Alright, so we are back and it has installed, well, downloaded the um, actual driver package. So, we can go ahead and run that. And hopefully, this will run properly. I'm giving invisible thumbs up because I forgot that this doesn't have video stuff. So, okay, well then, apparently, there we go, holy crap, okay, so apparently that didn't work right for whatever reason, um, But, compatibility mode did save us in this case. So, uh, big tip, try and run in compatibility mode uh, when you're downloading any Brother package. Well, honestly, this is for any software. Um, if you're downloading it and it's meant for uh, 7, 8.1, Vista, etc., etc., make sure to run it in compatibility mode for that version. So, let's go ahead and select English. When it should run Adobe Air. Because they have Air Installer as their choice. Oh, God, that is so cool. They finally switched away from Air. Okay, so now it's the Install Wizard. Awesome, finally. Okay, so the the Adobe 
uh, air suite used to be horrible. So, this is kind of a first reactions video, kind of. But again, no video. Uh, as far as pictures. So, let's go ahead and just wait for this to load. Another break, I believe, may be in order. So, just going to pause real fast and be back in a second. So, while this is loading, let's go ahead and talk about our sponsor today, One and One Internet Services. Now they offer domain names, websites, web hosting, servers. You can see all that they offer up here. And by using our affiliate links down below, you can support us. That's right, you can support us and help us grow as a channel and as a personal family to YouTube and to you because you are part of our little tiny family our little tiny community if you are watching this so please go down to the link in the description and it'll give you all of the services that you can choose and also give you several links that you can choose from as well so let's make sure that the future is a healthy one and let's get you connected to your online domain for cheaper with oneandone.com all right so the software ended up i believe it either okay so it's not responding it finally just came back up and uh is slowly uh running very very slowly running so, just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick update on that. So, BRB in a second, I guess. So, again, second for you guys. Like, 15 hours for me. So, BRB! So, hey everyone, welcome back. And just wanted to do a quick update saying... Uh, that I actually had to restart the system, well, force shut it down, and then restart it. So I'm going back through the installation process, so this shouldn't take too long. Alright, so now that it has finally loaded, um, we have our license agreement that we obviously agree to. And for me, I have a wireless connection to the printer, so I'm actually going to run over and turn it on real fast. So again, BRB. Alright, so it's finally going to go ahead and um, uh, I have it turned on so we should be able to go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and we uh, want to just change the port settings on the network. That's fine. Next. Now also I did have to use the force uninstall tool on um, the um, from the website so Obviously here you can see the MAC address and the IP address of the um, model. So the wireless settings are all set up. You can see the IP address there. So let's go ahead and hit next. And it's going to then install the drivers. Yes. So if there's anyone out there who has any other questions about this, um, please just shoot me a comment down below and for the last little bit I'm going to print a demo page so I'll switch back to my iPhone camera and show you guys that so Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to this video. So, something that happened was apparently that the system image had been destroyed or something and online people had suggested to use the image servicing and management tool. Uh, if that will focus, there we go. So I did so and um, ran the command DISM 
slash online slash cleanup dash image slash restore health and it actually has repaired the system so now I'm actually going to restart and then print out an image that he's been really wanting so let's uh, hope and pray alright so here we go now I go ahead and hit the print and it should queue up and print out properly All right, so as you've seen, the cleaning actually didn't help at all. The system mechanic didn't do anything, and it wasn't actually the printer because I went ahead and printed out the Infinity Project logo that was on my site. So, what was actually going on? Okay, and even... Um, it's not even the printer is broken because there is the test page. So, the printer works. And so does the computer. Nothing is wrong between the two. It's a wireless connection. It prints to mine as well. In fact, I'm actually going to run over and grab the printer sheet that came off of mine. So, yeah. So, what happened? So let's go ahead and kind of break this down for a uh, quick second. The picture that we were trying to print, let's, let's look at the dimensions real fast. Um, uh, da, 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 I believe it's in spec moment, I think. No idea. Um... Edge just blew up and quit. So, yay. Um, but you can see how large the image is. So, that is the reason it wouldn't print. Extra large images, when transferred over the internet protocol that Microsoft uses, it doesn't work. However, when printed out with Google Chrome, it works fine. In fact, it was a 1920 by 1080 image, and it couldn't be processed by Microsoft Edge. So, I will be taking this into account when I make a Browser Wars uh, video later on, um, because this actually had me puzzled. This made me make a whole video series about this, when honestly, it was all about the size. So I guess... When printing, size really does matter. So again, I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.